City, New Jersey, Sports Cream's Pro Boxing Tour on Sports Channel America. Bob Papa along with Dave Bontempo. Willie Taylor against Stefan Johnson, our first bat of the evening. Ten rounds in the welterweight division. And the fighters making their way to the ring right now. Willie Taylor has already entered the ring. We are awaiting the arrival of Stefan Johnson. Let's take a look at the rules as governed by the New York Athletic Control Board with Commissioner Larry Hazard in charge. Here are the rules in the state of New Jersey. Ten-point must system in effect. Three referees, non-scoring uh, non referee, three judges. Doctor or referee have the authority to stop the fight. Fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any of the rounds. Three knockdown rule is in effect. The standing eight count is in effect by discretion of the referee. Mouthpiece rule, if the mouthpiece is knocked out, the lull on the action, the referee will call time and put the mouthpiece back in. Here is the butt rule. If an unintentional accident or butt or unavoidable circumstance occurs less than a half or more of the scheduled number of rounds, the bout shall be declared a draw. After that, they go to the judges' cards. Here are the judges for tonight's action. John Stewart, 15 years out of Lawnside, New Jersey. John Hutterai from Newark. 10 years of experience. Jim Condon from Longport, New York. Eight years of experience. And now it's time for the tale of the tape. It's brought to you by Schlitz Small Flicker. Just say bull. Here are the numbers. Taylor at 5'9". Johnson a half inch taller. Taylor a half pound heavier. 148 pounds to 147 and a half. Reach advantage for Taylor by two inches. And Johnson the younger fighter at 22. Taylor at 28. Those are the key numbers. And now for the formal introductions, here is our ring announcer. Here is Ed Darrier. Live from the Broadway by the Bay Theater, here in Harris, Atlantic City, New Jersey, the boxing capital of the world, as Sports Screen presents the Pro Boxing Tour Boxing Show. It is approved by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board, the Honorable Larry Hazard, Senior Commissioner. In the ring at this time, the man in charge of the scheduled 10-round welterweight bout, referee Robert Palmer. And our boxing fans, introducing the principals. First, in the red corner, wearing the red trunks with the white trim. He weighed in at an even 148 pounds. This fella has 10 wins, 10 losses, one draw, with seven knockouts. All the way from Falls Church, Virginia. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Willie the Heat Taylor. Taylor. And his opponent in the blue corner, wearing the black trunks. He weighed in at 147 and one half pounds. He has 13 wins, three losses, one draw, with nine knockouts. From Brooklyn, New York. Boxing fans, let's welcome Stefan Johnson. Johnson. Tell us, had your pre-fight instructions? I expect a clean fight. Any further questions? Let's come on up. Come on out of the bell. Good luck to you. So we get set for 10 rounds of action in the welterweight division. Stefan Johnson against Willie the Heat Taylor. Taylor has gone the distance with James Buddy McGirt and Rockin' Rodney Moore. Stefan Johnson, a sparring partner of Simon Brown and Meldrick Taylor. Johnson is wearing the black trunks. Taylor wearing the red. Dave, what do you look for early on? Well, Taylor will try to be opportunistic with his power, and we'll see Johnson trying to set up his power with a jab. Johnson, out of Brooklyn, New York, a graduate of Grady High School in the Brighton Beach section of Brooklyn. Good right hand by the Heat. Johnson on a nice roll as far as beating some pretty respected fighter. A sixth round knockout over Vincent Petway in November, and then the eighth round knockout over Joey Farrell in Philadelphia in January. Taylor, by contrast, has only won one of his last six. Sometimes fighters can get trapped into the sparring partner mentality. And we mentioned Johnson, a sparring partner of Meldrick Taylor, Simon Brown, but it appears that he has been able to overcome that. Yeah, that's one trap a fighter can fall into, and the other one is to become not too upset about losing, almost comfortable with it, and that's the danger that Taylor faces. He's put up some good fights in his losses, but hasn't been able to get over the top. He's got to find that formula. Thank <laughs> you. 
Good right hand landed earlier by Taylor in the red trunks, but other than that, not much. Seems like Taylor slaps with his punches. And what he's trying to do now is back up and then charge forward with the right hand and hope that he catches Johnson in a mistake. And one reason he's slapping with his punches is because he's throwing them as he's backing up. He's not really planted. The right hand by Johnson found the mark. He thinks he has the heat hurt. Oh, and Taylor answers back with some punches of his own. Now, these last couple he got forward, was able to plant, and he got some good velocity on those shots. Final 30 seconds of round number one. It is scheduled for 10. These are welterweights. Willie the Heat Taylor in the red. Stephon Johnson in the black. Taylor at 10, 10, and 1. Johnson 13, 3, and 1. Final seconds of this first round. Taylor and Johnson. It is scheduled for 10. Taylor trying to back up and charge with the right. This is what he does here, and he caught it on the side of the jaw. Johnson. Taylor was hurt in round number one. Tough round to score. Referee is Robert Palmer. Taylor throws some pretty good power shots. The only thing is it's one at a time, and it's always in a countering situation. It's Johnson getting off the mark first with his jab and trying to set things up. Good work by Johnson in the black trunks as Taylor tried to counter it in the body. Johnson's quickness has been the difference there because Taylor looks like he's got the harder shots here. But he's wild and really kind of flinging them on impulse. Body shot by Taylor and then he ate a left hand. And Johnson is kind of being coaxed into a slugfest at times. It might serve him better to try to make this thing go just a little bit longer. And he's been in good longer fights recently, and Taylor hasn't been fighting that off. Time remaining in the second round, scheduled for 10. Nice crisp exchanges. They're both really letting it out here. A couple borderline shots. Good left hand by Taylor found the mark. Body shot by Taylor. He's digging to the ribs nicely. Taylor always seems a little bit off balance, but he's able to generate some power. Well, he's trying to turn into his punches, and as a result, yeah, if he's turning when he's going backward, he looks like he's not quite square. That does cost him some power, but it's evidently a style he's comfortable with. Time remaining in round number two. This one is scheduled for 10. Stephon Johnson and Willie Taylor slug it out at the end of round two. We welcome you back to Atlantic City, New Jersey. Bob Papa along with Dave Bontempo on Sports Cream's Pro Boxing Tour. We start round number three. 22-year-old Stephon Johnson in the black trunks. 28-year-old Willie the Heat Taylor in the red trunks. We mentioned Johnson with a record of 13-3-1. He's been in there with some tough opponents his losses in his career early in his career he lost to Philadelphia fighter Mike Brown lost to Kevin Pompey who was Melgic Taylor's sparring partner last year before Taylor fought Julio Cesar Chavez and he lost to Roy Jones 
back in 1989. Jones, the former Olympian, who has since fallen on some hard times, boxing-wise. Dave, interesting, Johnson's corner told him it's too early to start warring. Yeah, something we were talking about in the second because Taylor had coaxed him into that. And Taylor's corner telling him between the rounds to use the jab more because he's got to be concerned with how long this fight goes. Taylor backed up in that corner trying to fight out of it. Not tying up his man and he's allowing Johnson to keep his hands free. Taylor wants this to be a slugfest. You see him loading into every shot. He's getting good punches off. But he's not winning the battle up front with the jab and Johnson has better balance. Midway point of this third round, it's scheduled for 10. These are welterweights. As powerful as some of those shots looked by Taylor, that one did get in. A lot of them have been coming up short because of the lack of balance Taylor has. And yeah, that right hand buckle the legs of Johnson. Taylor has some raw power here. Johnson had better be careful because he's ducking right into that line of fire of Taylor's right hand. You can't back straight up against someone like Taylor. That left score, the combination. Taylor trying to play possum. You can tell fighters, yeah, be careful, use the jab and everything like that. But when these fighters are as open as they are and you can't miss them, yeah, they're going to ignore that advice and start punching on their own. Wild misses by Taylor. And that will tire a fighter out as well. Sometimes missed punches are more tiresome. Well, this is going to test one man's heart pretty soon. It's been a good pace. Taylor trying to club away at the body. Good left hand by Johnson as we come to the end of round three. It's scheduled for 10. Willie the Heat Taylor out of his corner to start round number four. For this 28-year-old veteran of the boxing game across the ring, Stefan Johnson in the black trunks. And this has turned into a pretty good fight. Both men uh, slugging it out. I don't think he'd use the term sweet science in this one. Uh, good body punches and both fighters keying off what they look for the mistakes of their opponents and it's been a hard fought three rounds although the crowd here in the casino may be laid back this has been exciting boxing action early on yeah, both fighters have been gambling and getting on the inside letting their best punches going taking chances of being hit because each one has brought up the level of the other Left hand by Johnson. Taylor just missing on some of those bombs as he's back on his heels when he decides to throw. If he could make one simple adjustment, he'd be a much more successful fighter. And that when the opponent is throwing a punch, he's got to lean forward a little bit and slip it rather than going back. And then he'll be in position to land those bombs. Otherwise, he'll come up just a little bit short. Midway point of round four. Left hand by Taylor. I mentioned in Taylor's last fight, he was knocked down in the fifth round by William the Hammer Jones, an outstanding young welterweight out of Philadelphia. But Taylor got in some punches of his own in that fight. Put Hammer Jones on the canvas. And you can see with his style that he can have that potential for a sudden explosion of power. Good right hand by Taylor. And he follows it with a left. Perhaps Johnson should be less concerned with the macho battle here and try to win this behind his jab. Taylor, good fighter on the inside. Final 
final 15 seconds of round number four. Another tough round to score. Both men have scored. Willie Taylor and Stefan Johnson back with round number five from Atlantic City, New Jersey after this timeout on Sports Channel America. Good body shots and a nice right hand from a distance, and then he would get another right hand in a little later. And we start round number five of the schedule, 10 round bout. Dave, how do you see it scored so far? Each fighter has won two rounds, 38-38. Very tough rounds to score, every I would, I would them, imagine. Every one of them, because the Taylor is landing what appears to be the harder shots, even though he's backing up a lot. And Johnson, at times, gets his boxing ability going behind the jab. It's a, a, good, a, match, a mark of a good matchup in that they're taking turns negating each other. Just when you think Stefan Johnson in the black trunks has control, Willie Taylor will rip off a bunch of punches. The key question here is going to be the stamina of Taylor. He hasn't fought since October. Johnson with a solid right hand there. <laughs> Left hand by Johnson. Johnson has to stand here and try to prove himself. Taylor trying to maul him. Good shots here by Johnson. Taylor wide open. Taylor tries to counter to that body, but Johnson is scoring at will here in round five. You're seeing why Taylor is 10 to 10. For all of his offensive abilities, there was a moment there where he was particularly vulnerable. He was wide open. Step back, no punch. but Johnson with the better of the scoring for most of it. Johnson continues to walk forward as if he believes that a lot of the steam has gone out of Taylor's punches. Stop. Stop Get out. Taylor is 10 and 10. One draw, seven knockouts. His last knockout win was back on June the 12th of 1989 against Mario Lesperance. There, Taylor landed a squared up right cross and nothing happened. Johnson continuing to apply the pressure. Taylor likes to just try to fight his way out of trouble, but this round has been a very good round for Stefan Johnson. Johnson nearly knocking out the mouthpiece of Taylor. Break now. Closing seconds of round five. It's a slugfest. Back to Atlantic City after this timeout. High atop the ring here at Harrison, Atlantic City. We begin round number six. Stefan Johnson in the black trunks. Willie Taylor. Willie the Heat Taylor in the red trunks. And a very good round number five for Johnson. Johnson may have begun to turn the tide for good. We'll see. It appeared that conditioning was... Starting to catch up with Taylor at the end of the round. Something new for Taylor coming out on his bicycle and starting with the jab. He's been countering most of the way. Johnson became a boxing fan by watching boxing on television. The late 70s, early 80s says he doesn't want to stay in boxing his whole life. He just wants to win the welterweight championship and box until he's 30. Sounds like a lifetime of me. And, and nothing ever fits the plans just that easily. Johnson, 22 years of age. Referee is Robert Palmer. He's had basically an uneventful match to this point. As far as having to caution the fighters, it's been relatively clean. Johnson pursuing with the jab and Taylor trying to stay out of harm's way and looking for the counter. Johnson could be cutting off the ring a little better. Now he gets on the right side and makes Taylor change. 
But what Taylor's doing, which could hurt him on the scorecard, is he's made it appear as though his movement is not really for an offensive purpose. If you jab and move, the judges may tend to look at it differently. Scheduled for 10. These are welterweights. Johnson nearly slipped on the foot of Taylor. Yeah, so this is the first right hand that Taylor's thrown. Rough with any kind of muscle here in the round. His right hand has been silent. Could he be trying to steal the round and now maybe just turn it on here in the final 30? Or, or maybe, in a sense, taking a round off. I saw Taylor winning rounds two, three, and four, so maybe he felt he could take a little bit of a break here. Well, he certainly did take one. Johnson's round. So Willie Taylor on the bicycle here in round number six. Is he trying to conserve some energy? We'll find out. We begin round number seven of this schedule. Ten round bout. In between rounds, the corner of Stefan Johnson and the black trunk said that the other guy is tired. So just stay within yourself and he'll fall. Dave, do you feel that way? Well, I noticed at the end of the fifth round, the change in the tide and that Taylor was getting fatigued. I don't know if he's ready to fall, but this is a chance for Johnson to take permanent control of the fight. I would think these last four rounds are basically up for grabs and this fight is relatively close. It is close. On my card, it's 58 to 56 for Johnson. This is a strange style for Taylor, two rounds in a row. Now, he was doing his best work by countering with the right hand after Johnson came in in the first five rounds, and now he's getting away from the things that were successful for him. Let's face it, Willie Taylor is a slugger, and he's trying to be a stylist right now, and I think he's just giving away points. Yeah, and I think the reason he's doing it is based on the stamina situation. That's usually what brings out this kind of thinking. And this is like a buying time kind of thing. And that was an excellent left hook delivered by Johnson as he caught Taylor out of position and knew about Taylor's sweeping left hook that missed. Johnson has only gone past six rounds now. This is his third time. Knocked out in the eighth by Roy Jones in his last fight over Joey Farrell in an eighth round knockout. Taylor has been past seven on numerous occasions, going as much as ten. There was an opportunity for Johnson to capitalize on Taylor that he didn't. Taylor threw an uppercut from the outside and was open for a left hook, but Johnson couldn't get there fast enough. That body work again from Taylor, absent over the last round and a half. Just under a minute to go in round seven. Good left hook by Taylor. I think Johnson has figured out how to get out of harm's way against Taylor. Now Taylor going to the southpaw style. Early in the fight, he was getting drawn into these little slug fests. There we saw him get on the bicycle. And Johnson had seemed to take control. Now Taylor is trying to counter with a different strategy. He doesn't look very comfortable with it to this point. Look at Taylor, how tired he is. He's still hanging in there and giving a lot of guts here. Just missed with a right-handed Taylor. Final seconds of round number seven. Scheduled for 10, Taylor and Johnson. Johnson catches Taylor off balance and makes no mistake with his best punch of the fight from in close. And we begin with round number eight. Very composed Willie Taylor in between round seven and eight. We thought he might be getting tired, but he appeared relatively fresh and relatively composed. Cut on the head of Johnson. Taylor's waged a pretty good effort up until now. The last couple rounds, he, he's not been as active, but he's certainly in this fight, making it a competitive battle. He's 
certainly trying everything possible. Every time Johnson lands a punch, Taylor is trying to counter with something hard, be it the uppercut or the looping right hand. Referee Robert Palmer asking the fighters to be careful with their heads. There is a cut on the head of Johnson. That obviously from an unintentional butt of some sort. Now you look at the way Taylor comes charging forward. He's trying to, to get momentum into his shots and his head is off and out in front of the rest of them. Good butt potential. It looks like Taylor is, even though he's throwing the power left, he's trying to land really a, a different kind of a right hand from this stance because the right hand has been his power punch. See him kind of circling with that right hand. That's the one he wants to jam, jam in there at some point. Taylor just short with that left. Time ticking away here in round eight. Time ticking away in this fight from Willie Taylor. Taylor's been just short a lot tonight. And, and the reason is that he's following the natural inclination to drop back to get away from a punch. And he's got to come in a little bit more bobbing and weaving. When he gets inside from that, he'll have a lot of room to shoot at. The pace has really slowed down over the last three rounds of this fight. And thus, Stefan Johnson has taken control. This is his pace. He can be more deliberate behind the jab and think a little bit and not be engaged in a war. And he's doing enough to win the round. Yeah, and J Taylor's off balance. This is not a comfortable style for him. Johnson scores and throws his man away. Final seconds of round number eight. This one is scheduled for 10. Taylor and Johnson on Sports Channel America. Stefan Johnson, they come to the center of the ring as we start round number nine of the scheduled 10 round welterweight fight. Dave, how do you see it scored? Up until now, 78 to 74 in favor of Johnson, who is pulling away, it looks like. In the second half of the fight, Taylor has really been in a defensive mode and not even a strategic counterpunching mode. He looks like he's a bit confused. I see it a little bit closer. Uh, body shot by Taylor, a left to the body. And it even threw six. His early rounds were tough to score. Both men landed a lot of quality shots. Like Taylor will exploit that hook to the body as long as Johnson lets him. And he's doing it the hard way. Now he's punching as he's coming forward instead of being in position first. And that's taking away some of the steam off the shot. And now, for the first time in a couple of rounds, Taylor goes back to the conventional style. feeling that if Taylor would get in just a little bit better condition for some of his fights and focus on one particular kind of fighter he'd like to be, that he could go well over that 500 mark. That's where he's teetering right now at 10, 10, and 1. This is 20 to go in round 9. This is more of the Taylor that was around in round 4 here. But he, did he give away too much? Uh, in the middle rounds, I think he did. Good work. Keep working good. There have been no knockdowns. Both men were rocked early, but the fight pace has slowed down. And for Johnson, this is a comfortable lull. He doesn't want to get into too much of an inside brawl. He thinks he's winning, obviously. Doesn't want to make any mistakes. Taylor letting his hands, not letting his hands go. Johnson is. Taylor came right to him and opened himself up. Taylor with a right bet score. Johnson back. Good 
left hand by Taylor as Stephen Johnson stole this round back. And round number nine is in the books. One of the better rounds we've seen over the last several. Dave, who'd you give that round to? Absolutely had it even with a big edge for Taylor in the beginning and, and through the two minute mark, but then a strong finish for Johnson to steal a draw there. Now you get a look at Willie Taylor in his corner, Ed Jones, Pat Jenkins, and Pat Harrington. I'm losing this fight, Mr. Jones. It's close. Don't abandon your defense in this last round. Champ, touch him in the center, right? Don't abandon your defense. You gotta get that round. You gotta double that jump. Let's take a look at some of the fighting inside. This is where it opened up as an excellent shot there on the right by Taylor. Johnson drives him back. Johnson many times has stood up when challenged by Taylor, and he did it again. We start the tenth and final round. Dave, do you think? Taylor needs a knockout to win. I do. I've got an 88-84 for Jones. I think Taylor can get a draw if he wins this round. But who knows? Hey, th there have been some tough rounds here. And if he stole a couple of those early ones, then he's right in it. Taylor get a little reckless here? He should, but the end of the ninth round took a lot out of him. That was an excellent pace, and each man went for it there. That's why we've had a little bit of a more tentative start here in the tenth. Tenth and final round. Hey, it's easy to say uh, on the sideline, Jed, the fighter has to open it up, but he's out there tired, and actually that's not his first thought. Taylor was not hurt there. Midway point of this tenth and final round. Billy Taylor backing up. It's not going to help him. Stefan Johnson in the black truck. Trying to eke out a decision. Well, Taylor's extended another fight of late. But will he have enough to get over the top? One minute to go in the tenth and final round. Johnson probably feels like he could hit Taylor until Wednesday and not put him out. He's landed all of his good shots. Johnson get out of harm's way. Final 35 seconds of the fight. Slipping and moving, not letting Taylor get on track. Right hand by Taylor scored, but Johnson dances away. Final 10 seconds of the bout. Tough one to score as Taylor pushes forward. That is it. Stephon Johnson and oh, yeah. Willie the Heat Taylor. Dave, you think Johnson did enough to win it? I have Johnson 97 to 94. Very tight. You know, the middle rounds decided it there. So a good fight, good effort at the end by Taylor. After Johnson had dominated in the middle, Taylor came out with a fury at the end. Get the scissors. I saw a two-point win for Johnson. Now you get a look at Willie the Heat Taylor from Falls Church, Virginia, 28 years of age. He is 10, 10, and 1. Will he climb over the 500 mark?
And something to keep in mind as they get ready to tally up. Taylor trying to win this fight the hardest way as far as scorecards are concerned. Backing up and trying to land with a counter shot. Your accuracy has to improve so much to get the judges' nods in these situations. Here's some of the action from the later portions of the 10th and final round. Taylor coming forward and being the aggressor here. He had gotten his win back after the slow start caused by the big ninth round explosion. He's coming on. Johnson dancing away, trying to protect the lead. And Taylor landing some good right hands and following him around. Probably may have taken the round with this, but what was there beforehand, we'll have to see. That was the final 10 seconds. Let get a look at it from another angle. And Taylor here putting forward a good effort. And Johnson thinking he's got it. Is just going to stay away from the big mistake. Smart move for him. And then referee Robert Palmer will come in as the final bell sounds. Right there. Well, let's find out what the judges thought. They're the only ones that count. Here is our ring announcer, Ed Darian. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a majority decision. And the scoring by points as follows. Judge John Stewart observed 97-93. Judge John Potteray, he watched it even at 95-95. And Judge James Condon, he scored 96-94. For the winner, by majority decision, Stefan Johnson. Johnson. So, Stefan Johnson wins a majority decision. And we said, Dave Bontempo, that this one would be tough to score, and it was. And you saw the different interpretation by the judges. Uh, a four-pointer, a two-pointer, and one exactly even. And I can almost guarantee that the discrepancy was in those early rounds. So, Stefan Johnson pushes his mark to 14-3-1 with nine knockouts. Willie Taylor now 10 and 11 with one draw. Majority decision for Stefan Johnson. He's got the cap on right now in the ring. And, uh, right now he is making his way out of the ring as well. Willie Taylor has already departed. Here is some of the action from round number nine. Some of the best action in the fight is Taylor coming on and trying to overcome the deficit. Johnson keeping him on the outside, not wanting to surrender too much. At the end of this round, there was a good flurry as each fighter let it go and gambled it. Taylor hung in there pretty well. You know, Judge Potter, I had it 95-95. You know, it was a close fight. You know, that 10th round could have made it a draw. Very happy Stephen Johnson as he walks around the ring. It was a close one. Judge Stewart had it 97-93. <laughs>